life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello guys, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Today I'm sitting down with Adrienne Ho and talking all about her latest show, Showtime at the Apollo. Take a look. I actually was on vacation in the Dominican Republic with my husband for his birthday in May and I got this call and they're like, can you Skype with the director of Showtime at the Apollo? They're bringing it back. But I'm not going to lie, I was like, oh, my. I was more excited that Showtime at the Apollo was coming back more than that I was going to talk to the director of it. I just was like, oh, my God, my favorite show. I used to watch this every Saturday night. It used to come on on Saturday nights, and I would stay up super late to watch it. And so just to know that it was coming back was, one, exciting, and two, that, like, I could be a part of it was even better. So... Um, I actually set up my little computer and I was like, oh, awesome. I'm going to get to Skype. And I did the audition literally in a bathing suit in the Dominican Republic in DR. And I'm like, hi, I'm Adrian. I'm like, I loved the show. I'm like, I'm here. I just came up from the pool and I spoke to the director and him and I got along well. And like maybe a, like two days later, they were like, you're going to be Steve Harvey's co-host for Showtime at the Apollo. And I was so excited. One, because, um, it really is an honor to be a part of such an iconic show. This is like a legacy that they have. And to be a part of that is amazing. Two, that I was getting to work with Steve Harvey, who I absolutely love and admire. Uh, how many shows does he have? Oh, exactly. He's the hostess with the mostest, literally. And um, three, that I was going to be able to go to New York. So literally, I left Dominican Republic and flew straight to New York where I got to be with my family. You know, I'm from New York being there with the whole familia and everybody, like everybody was visiting me on set. I'm like, Nana, come see the show. I'm like, actually, it's it's an actual show. You can sit in the audience, you can enjoy it. There's gonna be incredible acts. Steve Harvey's hysterical. So literally like every single day when we were filming the show, I had familia in the audience cheering and sometimes booing. Were you like the first person that these contestants see? Yeah. It's nerve wracking, it's exciting, it is um, inspirational, it's motivational, where like some people are super nervous and I'm, I'm, I, my motivation speaker moment has like become better. Like now I'm back there like, you can do this, anything is possible. I'm like Bible verses, you can do all things to Christ who strengthens you. But it's fun, it's actually exciting. I remember being a little girl performing at the Apollo Theater myself for the first time I performed there when I was 14 years old for the first time with 3LW. And I remember what that felt like and being nervous that like, they'll boo you. Hey, we did the Christmas special and I had to perform a song and I was like, they don't care if I'm a professional. If they don't like they, if they don't like you, they'll boo you. They're super honest. And I was super nervous about that. But at the same time, they show so much love. And I think they recognize real talent. And I think they recognize um, when some, even if, what I love about the audience is that let's say you don't have the best voice, they still will notice that you have star quality and that you're special. And I think even that is awesome. I would never want to be compared to Kiki Shepard though because she is an icon and she has, like I said, a legacy of her own. What I love is that this time around the role is different. Um, it's very different in the way that I actually don't introduce the acts. Steve introduced the acts. I'm more so backstage with acts, finding out what's your story? Where do you come from? Why are you here? What's your passion? What makes you want to sing? What makes you want to be a comic? What brought you to this point? Why does the Apollo Theater mean so much to you? And I think finding out those stories makes the show altogether that much more special because now you're not just watching random, you know, Fulana de Tal sing a song. It's now like, okay, I get her. I get her story. I get who they are. I get why she sings. I get that singing is not just, you know, a hobby for her, but that this is something that gets her through. She be cancer. She, this kid almost died. And what brings him to life is music. These are real stories. And their moms and dads are about back there rooting them on. And it's just really, really special in that sense. So I love that. Yes, I am the co-host of the show, but at the same time, my role is completely different. So I'm grateful. Like, spoiler alert, I can't tell. But I will say this. There are artists that, like, I actually never saw the acts before they went on. So this is something you don't know. Most people probably watching will think, like, oh, she's seen them all. She knows who's good. She knows who's not. I've never seen them before. All I know is what they do. Sometimes I actually don't even know what they do. They'll walk up and I'll be like, what are you doing today? And they'll be like, okay, I'm singing. I'm like, that's great. I can assume how it's going to go. I think even the audience sometimes is in shock. I think um, 
I can say this part. We actually had an Asian uh, artist who got up there, and, and, and I'm not going to lie, I was concerned. I, I, the look, I was like, I don't know how this audience is going to, I think that automatically they're going to be like unsure of him. And you just got to see how it turns out because it, it literally takes such a left turn. And there's so many moments like that in the show where I'm backstage with them like, you got this, you're amazing. There have been people that I'm like, oh, they're going to kill it. And then I'm like, where did this go? This just got really weird. But, and then there's total opposite where I'm so unsure. I'm nervous for them. I'm shaking backstage as they're walking down the aisle. I'm like, I don't know what the reception is going to be. And the audience ends up loving them or they open their mouths and it is pure heaven. And you're just like, what? This doesn't make sense. And it's awesome. It's those moments that uh, make the show really special. It's the shock. It's the surprise. It's the reaction that just makes it awesome. I think I honestly feel so blessed just as a Latina to be able to, and as a woman in general, just to say like, I am a Puerto Rican, Ecuadorian girl from the Lower East Side of New York and grew up in the projects to you know, uh, first generation parents. And the fact that I have a show on daytime Fox and primetime Fox is unreal. I wake up every single day pinching myself, thanking God for such awesome opportunities. And I pray that I continue to pave the way and open doors for just the next generation that are going to do incredible things. And I think with shows like this, the Apollo, this is doing the same thing. It opens doors. It gives a platform for new voices to be heard, for new talent to be seen. And I'm just so grateful for that and to be a part of such great projects that once again celebrate diversity and for a network that celebrates diversity and for a network that puts a platform up there to celebrate who we are as a people. So I just, I, I feel so blessed. I can't wait for you guys to see the show. March 1st, it's happening. <laughs>